everybody, Mr. Slipcover Bullet Blake. I have a blue review today, and it is for Shout Factory's Captain Clegg. Shout Factory's Night Creatures. Um, obviously, Night Creatures is also known as Captain Clegg, and this this is the new special edition. I picked it up, and I had never seen it before. But I thought, you know, it's a Hammer production from 1962. I will check it out. Peter Cushing is in it. It's got Oliver Reed in it. It, it has it. It has its stuff going for it. I mean, I I I thought the cover art looked great. The slip cover is great. Um, that's that's pretty cool. You see the little ghouls right there. Uh, it was directed by Peter Graham Scott. And it is actually a Hammer release. So the Hammer Major Productions made this movie. And if you like Hammer films, you'll probably get more enjoyment out of this than people who don't like Hammer films. So take that as you will. But I, I, I was interested in it. Going in, I was like, yep, it's older, but I do like Peter Cushing. And I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot. And it was a completely blind buy for me. But it wasn't a bad one. Uh, the movie was actually pretty cool. The special effects, special effects back in the day in 1960s where they have the ghouls like these guys going around on their horses and just the, the way they shot that was actually really, really fucking awesome. I was really into that. Uh, and like the story itself about Captain Clegg and the the What's the the Navy captain? There's there's some Navy captain who's trying to investigate the Marsh Phantoms, which are these things right here. They're they're supernatural, you know. I don't want to give any spoilers, so they they're these supernatural like ghouls that go around and terrorize people, and apparently have the power to scare people to death. How did he die, man? Well, Doctor Pepper signed the certificate natural causes, but I should have thought from the look of the poor fellow that he died of fright. Now, that's more like unnatural causes, wouldn't you think? Frightened to death? What by him? Well, he didn't tell us, of course, being dead, but I should think it was the Marsh Phantoms. Uh, and that... The, the way this movie is done, I, I honestly am so impressed because it's the 60s and special features were... or special effects were... subpar. And I mean, like, special effects. Not like... like when you think of practical effects. I'm talking like the way they did this is is really impressive to me. Uh, Peter Cushing does, gives a great performance in this movie. Um, he plays the Reverend Dr. Bliss, I think, and he's supposed to be like this huge beloved person in this town. If you would care to join us in worship, Captain, you are more than welcome. But first, would you be kind enough to remove your hat? <laughs> and the captain's going in there and trying to fuck shit up because he's really investigating these phantoms and just everything comes on and some people believe it, some people don't. Well, have any of you ever seen any of these so-called phantoms? Uh, you, Squire. You, Parson. I know many honest men whose word I trust implicitly who have seen them. It's it's all about that curse with, with the phantoms and there's like a scarecrow. <laughs> It's, it's a really cool, old-school horror movie. Uh, if I had to rate it, I would rate it at a... Let's say a six and a half. Yes, I would give this one a six and a half. Uh, I think I'll rewatch it again. I, I don't know how soon, but I think it's got rewatchability like value there. So I would definitely like say that this one is a cool release. And, like, as far as Scream Factory goes, I know they release a lot of more mainstream ones than this. And, like, obviously those are going to be more popular, I guess. But I I really thought this was cool. Like, most... From the start of the movie, where they have this, like, opening crawl, where they kind of give you, like, a backstory and, like, explain, like, the whole situation of the film itself. Their shores faced the shores of France, 
and many was the shipload of wine and brandy smuggled across the sea in defiance of the king's revenue men. Many legends had come from this corner of England, but none so widely believed or widely feared as the legend of the marsh phantoms who rode the land on dark, misty nights and struck fear into the hearts of all who crossed their paths. I was pulled in. I was hooked onto this movie. And the performances are all stellar. The picture is perfect. I mean, like, it is it is a really, really good-looking, like, presentation from Screen Factory. So, overall, I, I, I would recommend this one, honestly. If you're into Hammer films, if you're into that, like era of horror films this one's actually really cool and now as far as special features go obviously it's the 2022 2k scan from its original inner positive and it it really does look really good there's new commentary on here with film historian bruce hallenbeck i didn't watch that i can't critique on that there's a new interview with special effects artist brian johnson that was pretty cool go ahead and check that out uh the making of clap captain clegg Obviously, Captain Clegg, Night Creatures, it's the same movie, but it that that was real cool, like, obviously, like I said, it's got some real unique shit in this movie, so I would say that that's, that's probably the best special feature on here. Um, the Mossman Legacy, George Mossman's Carriage Collection. I didn't watch it. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what that is, so it is what it is. Theatrical trailer and a still gallery. I would, th this is a really cool addition. This is the only one I bought from April, so, and uh, I mean, I know they had some other, like, bigger releases for that month, but like, I, obviously I only buy them if they have the slips. So, this was it for April. Um, Cursed, I think, got pushed back, but it comes out next month, so, yes. Night Creatures. Check it out. Um, but if you liked the video, Give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe! And until next time, have a good day!